But I want to start off with this about channeling spirits. What is going on in the modern church and what has been happening and everything going on is about channeling spirits and it's not the Holy Spirit. Before we get into this, it's about a two minute video from a girl by the name of Gabby Bernstein. She is a spiritual advisor. She's somebody that teaches people how to channel spirits. She's been endorsed by Oprah. She gives you a rundown of what channeling spirits entails and what it feels like feels. That's something to keep in mind. Check this out. So I wanted to share with you some of the ways that I've experienced these spiritual connections in my meditation. And I want you to know what those connections can come through like so that when you are meditating and you are channeling, you can actually be aware of what's going on. So here's the first sign that you're channeling. You feel a presence of peace come over you. This absolute settling of your nervous system. You feel at ease, relaxed, and connected. I often have my hands go numb and they almost move at times and they feel almost hot as if I'm holding energy, as if I'm holding a ball of energy, actually. Another sign you're channeling, you feel a chill go down your spine or you feel goosebumps on your arms. That's absolutely a sure, sure sign that you are calling in an energy beyond your own. And I love this one. You can often feel a sense that there's an inner voice and it, it can often be audible for some people, but in my case, it actually felt like I was reading a book, but listening to the author in the background. I'm not sure if you've had that experience. While you're reading, you can actually get a sense that you're listening to an author or listening to a voice of somebody else. That's how I know that there's this amazing presence coming through because I can start to sense that there's a download coming, that there's a voice coming through. And it's not a voice that's my own. It often sounds very ethereal and it sounds very loving and soothing and connected and guided. And it's very spiritual in nature. And then what happens for me particularly is I start speaking really fast. So if I'm channeling for somebody else and I don't realize it quite yet, I'll still feel those chills come down my spine. My hands will go numb. I'll start hearing that background noise of a voice behind me. And then I start speaking really fast. And that fast speech becomes this full-blown experience of allowing the voice and spirit to move through me. All right. That's channeling. That's channeling. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things that she references going on in the modern church. We'll break some of that down. Just a heads up. Some of the stuff I'm going to talk about, some of the things I'm going to say, some of the names I'm going to mention, if you don't realize on this channel, I am under the belief that we need to call people out by name because people need to know who the wolves are. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I want you guys to be open. I want you guys to be open to because guaranteed there's going to be some names that I'm going to say that you're going to like. And I want you guys to be aware of just who these people are. So be open to that. Don't just get angry and turn it off, which I know some people might, but be understanding of that. So she kind of went through some of the signs of what's going on when you're channeling. Now, some of the things that she's talking about is inner voice and uh, talking really fast and all this stuff. And there's something going on that I call babble tongue, which is what they're sprucing up as prayer language. This is basically where people all of a sudden just start speaking gibberish and they usually say it really, really fast. And it's about chanting words and just saying random things. If you want the biblical sense of what tongues is, we're not going to get into his tongues happening today and stuff. We're not going to do that. So not even going there. But if you want to get what tongues is biblically, tongues is there's a person with tongues and there's a person with interpretation. And how it works is they speak a real language. So basically, like if I was to have somebody come on, uh, say, just randomly from like Quebecistan and he can't speak English, I can't speak Quebecistani, whatever. I don't know what language they speak there. And all of a sudden, we start having a conversation back and forth. He understands me. I understand him. And then you guys would look at that and go, there's something supernatural going on here. That is biblical tongues. 
That's biblical tongues and interpretation. What is going on with this prayer language, this gibberish stuff that the charismatic, the NAR church is pushing out there. A lot of these, these revivals that you see with people like Todd Bentley and all this stuff where they're basically training people to get their prayer language. It's just people going, all this stuff. They're not speaking a real language. Now there's two types to this. One, it's just gibberish babble tongue. Two, they're actually channeling a spirit and the spirit is speaking through them. I've got both of those demonstrations right here in this video. Uh, you might recognize some of the people, but just take a look at this. Right now, from Africa right now, they're coming here. They're coming here in the name of Jesus from South America. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here from Africa, from South America. Angelic forces, angelic reinforcement, angelic reinforcement, angelic reinforcement. Fika hata anda ata or bata rata anda ek ek manda rasata. For I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I I hear the sound of victory. 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 Karamo sharadanda rabasha karabamanda ridiasa. Urata tarata talamo ho shakaya. Yes, Lord, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. So there's two, two types here. One is the chanting and channeling that you saw with the first lady. That is Paula White. Paula White is obviously sitting there. You can see she's chanting. She's being very repetitious. She had a point there where she was speaking babble tongue gibberish. When you, the Bible clearly tells us that we are not to pray in repetition. We are not to chant like that because that stuff is used to summon and channel demons and spirits and all of that stuff we are not to do that the bible says don't do that and she was doing that she was trying to channel that's paula white a little note about paula white that was trump's spiritual advisor he chose her that should give you an indication of just what was going on in the white house when trump was a part of it now the second guy is perry stone i know a lot of people like perry stone but you could clearly say he clearly see he was doing the fake thing because as he was drooling on himself and speaking random gibber stuff, he was checking his phone. He was sitting there staring at his phone, just making these random noises and stuff. Obviously, he was putting on a show. I don't recommend Paula White or Perry Stone. I don't. I think they are not good. That's the research that I've done. And you just saw the two types where there was somebody really trying to chant and channel. And then you saw the fake gibberish that's going on. That is something going on. Now, if you want to see real, I mean, I know this, this might not be good for some people, but if you want to see real fast talking, channeling spirit, well, check this out. Thank you. That that is a video from a lady who posted she recorded herself and posted about 
how she was able to all of a sudden receive her prayer language. It was the Holy Spirit finally came upon her seven months after accepting Jesus. I don't believe that she has accepted the true Jesus because you then see she's, she rips through that for about five solid minutes. I only give you guys about 55 seconds. That is a lady that was clearly taken over by a spirit. She's speaking no true language. She's throwing random stuff out there. She's speaking very fast, exactly like what the, the channeling lady said. Sometimes she will then begin to speak really fast when that spirit has taken over her, when she has channeled that spirit. And you just saw it with that lady. She's talking about she, the video is about basically explaining how she got her prayer language and you can get it too. This is what's going on in the NAR church. This is what's going on in the modern church, the, the charismatic church, however you want to put it. This babble tongue, this chanting, this channeling of prayer language is coming into play by a lot of people. And you're seeing a lot of these revivals out there. I can't remember all of them. When I used to have a Facebook channel, I used to find these videos all the time of people who were holding these revivals. And it was people f filming this guy who was going around. It was multiple people, but th it was a guy usually that would walk into the crowd and he would do the thing he would put his hand on the head and like push him over and all of a sudden they'll start laughing and and speaking this prayer language and stuff it happens all over the place where people are being falsely under the assumption that they have received salvation and the holy spirit upon them because they're doing this spiritual channeling stuff in them now, this is the biggest thing that's being done in the modern church, in the NAR church now, is where there is a false sense of security, where they're basically telling people, if you feel this stuff, if you feel the emotion, if you feel what you believe is the presence of God or the Holy Spirit coming into this place or upon you, that you are saved. When in actuality, what they're doing is they are summoning and channeling other spirits in to make people feel like they, they're saved when they're not. This is that false sense of security that's going on in the NAR church now, where people believe they're saved. And when that rapture happens, and I always say this, there is going to be more people left behind after the rapture that believed that they were saved than there's going to be actual Christians taken up. I 100% firmly believe that. There's going to be more left behind that, be that truly believed that they were saved because of this stuff that's going on in the modern church than there's going to be actual believers taken up in the rapture. I 100% firmly believe that. And it's because of stuff like this. Everybody is going off of feeling and experience. They're not going off of salvation and the doctrine that's in Scripture. If you didn't see, I was tapping my Bible. You can't see it. It's just right here, though. And it's all about feelings and, and all that stuff. And when you channel, what is she talking about? She's talking about feelings. You're, 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 you're getting this sense of peace. It's this little voice in you that you feels like there's a, a spiritual presence around you. You get your warm hands and you kind of start to move and sway and you go into that. 